How's it going everyone? Zowski here and welcome back to our Iron Man series on episode 6 now. Can't believe we're this far already. We're making so much progress. Cap it. Uh, yeah, I think this time we're going to focus more on completing definitely more quests. Best content ever, but we need to get them done. Maybe focus on leg maybe get Legends quest done. Maybe even rest before disaster all the way through. I know we need some more quests for that, but we should go do those now. So yeah, quest gains coming up. So that's another slice of ham completed. Three mining, three mining, three thousand mining, three thousand prayer, fifty-three mining. Awesome, nothing new unlocked. What a shame. Yeah, let's carry on to land of the goblins. I think. Yeah, we all the, we have all the stuff we need for land of the goblin. So that's the land of the goblins quest complete. While here we may as well just continue on to the Chosen Commander. We have all the stuff we need. Should be very easy. Look at that experience. 20,000 agility, 20,000 strength, 20,000 thieving. Holy shit. Hey, so there's the Chosen Commander quest complete. 20,000 agility, strength and thieving. Boom, 60 agility, 55 thieving and 52 strength. We now have one of levels of rocking out, Elder Kiln, Kindred Spirits. Crap, basically. Uh, no level ups for there. And Thieving. Awesome. So, next, I really want to finish Recipe for Disaster up, but we need to do three more quests Murder Mystery, Shadow of the Storm, and The Golem. And we could do, every, wow, and Legends Quest. Then we've done, then we could do every single one of these. So yeah, let's start the murder mystery quest. Hey, so there's the murder mystery quest complete. 1,406 experience for some odd reason. But yeah, that's awesome, easy quest done. So that's the golem quest complete. 1,000 crafting, 1,000 thieving. Brilliant, so next is Shadow of the Storm, which shouldn't be too hard, wherever it is. Shadow of the Storm. We have everything we need, except for the silver bar. That should be easy to get, so yeah, let's carry on with this quest. Ease, we're about to finish the quest. So we're put this into strength. Awesome, 53 strength. We also have the lovely dark light. Amazing. So we're about to get 50 crafting in Three more of these. Four XP away, come on. There we go, 50 crafting. Which means now I have all the levels for Legends Quest. I didn't know about the... Encra's Lament? Yes, we'll call it that, but yeah, we now have all the levels we need for Legends Quest. Which we might go do. Sounds like a lot of fun. Hey, so I just finished my Jack of Trades for today, and we now have all the levels for Fairy Tale Part 2. Which means we can finally get fairy rings. Jesus Christ. Been long enough. Alright, I'm bored, so I'm gonna try our Barrow's Reaper. Uh, wish, wish us luck. Hey, so I have the first Barrow's Chest. Oh, so good. So good. Wish us luck on our second Barrow's Chest. Yay. <laughs> oh, God. So, we're coming to the end of our Reaper task. Eh, nothing good. Four Reaper points, 7,000 Slayer. 43 Slayer has been obtained. Nothing new, but I do have enough food for one more chest. So, yeah, we could do that and get ourselves another Reaper task. So this will be the last chest for now, as it is double tokens for Iron Men. Ooh, loop half. Do I have a tooth half? If so, we make ourselves a ring of wealth. Hey, so it turns out we do have a tooth half. Boom, which means we can now use the tablet chest, which we'll go do, and then we'll do some dungeoneering because double tokens are gonna be amazing. Okay, so it turns out we need 55 crafting to make the ring of wealth. So, no hurry. 
get out doing dungeoneering, I guess. Ooh, two lance seeds and the dragon stone. I oh, only 55 to even cut it. God damn. Hey, we've got 70 magic in dungeoneering. That's actually really good. One of the levels need for Darkmire and Do No Evil. Can I use barrows? Like mage stuff. Wand of Treachery. Oh my god. Totally forgot about the Wand of Treachery. But yeah, god damn. So let's get ourselves a new a Reaper task. No. DKs, you know what? I'll actually do that. Yes, please. Thank you. We're about to finish all dungeoneering easy tasks once we find this sinkhole. Boom. So let's claim our reward. There we go. Lovely team and high mora. And obviously the lamp. 2000 hair blow. So we're about to get a nice little level once we go through this entrance. 75 dungeoneering, which is one of the things we need for Plague's End. We also have a new floor, which is great, and a new resource area. Amazing. All right, so we did quite a lot of dungeoneering out ourselves. 104,000 tokens, which is enough to get ourselves the lovely Charming Imp, wherever it is. There it is. Goodbye tokens. But our grind is still not over, as we still need to get ourselves the Split Dragon Tooth Necklace, which I think is about 17,000. Or is it? Yeah, 17,000 tokens, which probably shouldn't take too long. Fingers crossed. We just got ourselves 50 farming, doing our daily strawberry and corn runs. H halfway to 99. So we finally got around to completing our Dagonath King's Reaper task we got a few days ago. 45 Slayer obtained, getting two Slayer levels from this Reaper task. This Reaper task is so good for early Slayer, it's amazing. I got ourselves quite a bit of money from doing Alcabals and lots of Dragonlath phones we shall use at the Ectophuntus later on. So yeah, let's get ourselves a new task. New assignment to please death. Oh, I knew I should have took the gem with me. Oh, so don't have to trek through all the tunnels again. That's just great. Thank you, game. Ha! Ah, thank you. Oh, game, why? Why did you troll me like this? Why? I'd rather have a good Alcabal instead of that. Thank you. Another Reaper task. Ah, oh, Dagon of Kings has been completed. I didn't forget my gem this time, so we get another task straight away. Which is great. Oh, Dagon of Kings teleport. Amazing. Uh, 12 Reaper points, 10,000 Slayer. So now let's relog and get ourselves a new task. Let's get ourselves a new Reaper task. Oh, Barrows Brothers. That's actually really good. I was hoping for DKs against us so we could stay here, but honestly... Tier 7's equipment is going to be amazing. So we're completing the first elite clue on the account. It's going to be garbage. Two fortunate components. I take that back. That was actually really good. God damn. That's actually really good. Oh, first... Item is a weapon that's actually amazing. Darok's great axe. Holy shit. What's that? Chest 22. Holy crap, that's amazing. Oh, I'm so happy. So we are coming to the end of another Barrow's Reap task. Got ourselves the lovely Darok's great axe, the last chest. Back to back. Nope, nice runes there. And 47 Slayer, 8 Reaper points. Anything for 47 Slayer? Brine Rats! Yay! Lovely. A great axe, though. Oh, so happy. Look at those stats. Holy shit. So, we have a new Reaper task of 20 Dagonoff Kings, which should be super easy because our gear is so amazing. And while doing AFK stuff while editing, I did, get, did manage to get myself 76 fishing, so we can now do sharks, which we'll n never do because they're just fucking shit. Yeah. Another Dagonoff King's Reap task completed at Dagonoff Rex. 49 Slayer. Lovely jubbly. 5k from 50. And obviously, I've got my gem ready to get ourselves a new task once we relog, which we shall go do now. I don't want that. 
hide, go away. Please be back to back DKs and not like cow fight queen. Dagonoff kings, that. Mwah. Thank you, death. 26. Easy. Another Reaper task complete. Lovely 50 Slayer coming in right now. 50 Slayer, 7 assignments done. Blood Vows unlocked. Shadow Master with 100 combat. God damn. I might stay here until I run out of food because. You get quite a lot of good outs here, not gonna lie. While in the process of converting all my Dagonoff bones into Dagonoff bone meal, I noticed that the familiarization was right next to where, right next to the Ecto. So this is our first summoning ingredients box. Hopefully get ourselves a piece of the outfit. E Shaman's moccasins, moccasins, and some lovely other stuff. Brilliant, first skill outfit for the summoning outfit. Finish up the last of our Dianoff bones right now. Ends up on 58 uh, prayer from 55, which is not too bad. Uh, needs, definitely needs to get a lot more just to get 60 to, so we can use the um, uh, Spit Dragon Deflectless, which would help out have a lot during Slayer and just general combat because obviously you have the Bone Crusher. So yeah, gains. Enough procrastination. It's time to start Legends Quest. This is going to be fun. So these boss fights are just like stupidly easy. Uh, that, that bar? What the fuck? Wow. Easy. So we have the Gilded Totem, which we're going to hand in to uh, Redimus. And they should hopefully complete the quest after this little cutscene. Or not. Okay, skip forward. Ooh, got the Chronicle Book of Legends pet. Uh, oh shit, what do I want to train up? Give me two seconds. Ah, I can use an herb law, so we're just gonna put it all in herb law. Fifty-nine herb law. Can we use it again on herb law? Brill. Wait, does that work? Another seven thousand. This quest really does not give that much experience. We're now at 60 herb law, quest complete. We now do one of the levels of kindred spirits, clean snapdragons, and yeah. So since we have completed the legends quest, we can now fully complete recipe for disaster, which we'll go do now. Oh, this little dragon's so cute. Oh, I really wish they made this into like a pet of some kind. Like, um, even like a quest cake, like a quest pet for having all the quests done. I think they'd be really cool. It's so cute, look at it. Please don't burn. Yes, amazing. So this part of the quest, with just a kitten, total aids. So here we have all the lovely food, and we're going to free all of these, making sure not to eat them by mistake. There is the Mountain Dwarf Freed. Here's the next Pirate Pete, which is the Fish Cake. Boom, that one now completed. Slop of Compromise with the Dwarfs. Slop of Compromise. Okay. Actually use it on there, not the chair. Boom, that one completed. Now the cooked jubbly. Hey, you got ourselves a range level. Now the cake of guidance on the Lumbridge Sage. The lovely spicy stew on Evil Dave. Uh, 
there you go, there's that one complete. Then we've got the Bruley Supreme on Ceramic Vase. And finally, the Stuffed Snake on Agawe, whatever his name is. And obviously he teaches us how to do the um, Apatel Teleport. Come on. I have this cute little cutscene. Not really cutscene, Fate of Black. Twice I've called it a cutscene now. Come on, I don't care. There we go, 10,000 cooking, 10,000 agility. That's actually really good. Uh, 61 agility, great. First boss, easy. Second boss, easy. Third boss, easy. Fourth boss, easy. Fifth boss, easy. And look at all my drained stats, Jesus. <laughs> That's so bad. And there is the culinary mancer killed. Once he blows up, hurry up. This place looks so amazing. There we go, that is the recipe for disaster quest complete. We now have full access to the chest. The lovely Barrow's Gloves, which are kind of... Well, we'll have a look. I think they're pretty much useless in this game. Uh, items. No, no, that's, that's, actually, no, that's not too bad, actually. But yeah, lovely 20,000 lamp into Herblore. Lovely. So we've probably made enough progress for this episode. Got the two big quests we want us to get done. Legends Quest and RFD all the way through. Got ourselves some lovely stats. Got ourselves like 60 Herb Law, 61 Agility. Uh, some other stuff as well. I can't, honestly can't remember what we've done. But yeah, it's been a lot of fun. This quest grind has been real. Still got so many, so many quests to do. Definitely need to try and work towards like... Um, River of Blood and Forgiveness of a Chaos Dwarf, wherever it is. So yeah, thanks for watching this episode. Feel free to click the links in the description. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, blah, blah, blah. Subscribe, etc. See you in the next episode.